practice is down, 10 to go from Oxnard, California, as it's another edition of Inside Cowboys Training Camp, driven by Ford. Kyle Yeomans alongside Rob Phillips here from DallasCowboys.com. And Rob, practices have been in the rearview mirror for a little bit. Still a long way to go, I think, throughout the NFL season. But what have you been looking for and what have you seen from the first two practices on the gridiron well they're starting to ease in we're starting to see some good competition here still a few days before the first padded practice that's when we'll really get an idea of who's standing out but I'm watching guys coming off injury first and foremost Dak Prescott he looks like Dak Prescott had a great practice in the two-minute drill particularly and and his connection with his wide receiver seems to be growing by the day also you're always looking for the young guys and how they're standing out first round pick Micah Parsons there's a lot on his plate they're asking him to be an off-the-ball linebacker, asking him to rush the passer. He's doing both pretty well. Dan Quinn even said, we might have challenged Micah a little bit too much in the first practice, dialed it back a little bit. We'll see how his workload continues for the rest of the, the training camp. But Randy Gregory has been definitely turning some heads early on, really catching the eye of not only the coaching staff, but as really everybody around. What has he done that's been so special? Well, the first thing you notice is his pass rush ability. He has rare pass rush ability. And look, he's missed a lot of games in his career, but we've seen that over the years when he's played. He's also shown he can be a complete player too. I asked Mike McCarthy about his run stopping ability as well. He blew up two plays in the run game in practice the other day and is really, you know, with his first really full off season of his career, you can see how he's settling in and maybe can be a complete player for them at defensive end. Is there a, a ceiling high enough to really talk about Randy Gregory? Because if he's on the opposite side of Demarcus Lawrence, there could be some potential there. Yeah, and they're they're counting on him to be the starter opposite Demarcus Lawrence. And I think the ceiling could be both guys getting double digit sacks. That hasn't wow. happened in years. I don't think it's happened since Demarcus Ware was in his prime with the Cowboys. So that would be a huge benefit. Plus, if your offense is better and you've got some more leads and you're healthier, fortunately for them, uh, you can build some leads and that'll help your pass rush as well. Still a long way to go throughout the entirety of the, the preseason and into the regular season. But right now, Randy Gregory on the right track, yeah. I think, after his first full offseason in a couple of years. When we come back, we'll talk about another couple guys that make their return after a full season off due to injury. How has the offensive line looked so far through camp when we return? on Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford. Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford is brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store. And by Ford. Built for Texas, built for you. This segment is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Outside of the return of Dak Prescott, I don't think there's been a much more welcome sight than the return of a healthy offensive line. Welcome back in to Inside Cowboys Training Camp, driven by Ford Kyle Yeomans alongside Rob Phillips. And Rob, you have all three guys back, Lyle Collins, Tyron Smith, and then also a healthy Zach Martin as well. The starting offensive line seems to be back, but I think – is Lyle Collins the number one piece of that mix? Well, I think he's he's definitely part of it. And he this time last year, he tried to push through that hip injury, couldn't do it. They decided to get the surgery, and he missed the season. But they feel like it's a it's a situation where he's permanently in good shape with that that behind him. And he talked about being 18 weeks on crutches last year, missing the time Tyron Smith missed all but I believe two games as well. That's that's the that's the heartbeat of this this team, this offense. That's what Ezekiel Elliott said the other day. And one thing, when you don't have your starters up front, you got to change the way you play your offense. It affects your passing game. You need to be maybe more run conscious. But then Zeke was banged up last year too. Everywhere you pointed to the offense, they were banged up in certain areas. And and now with a fully healthy group, it's really exciting to see what they might be able to do. While it is exciting for teammates to see teammates back out there and healthy, and then of course for fans to see Lyle Collins back out there, how does he feel about his return? Here's our player audio presented by Sleep Number. Man, it's been great, you know, um, just to be back in the huddle, be out there with my guys, man, be out here for training camp. Um, you know, when you come out here, it just gives you a chance to really build that team camaraderie. You get to spend a lot of time with the guys, and, you know, when you get back in the huddle, it just feel like you're hanging around the locker room, you're in a, you know, lunch room, in a team meeting room. So, you know, that's the great part about it. 
Lyle Collins certainly happy to be back in with his teammates after dealing with a very serious hip hip issue last year. And, well, I think he's definitely happy to be back, and the team's happy to have him back as well. Absolutely. You know, when you talk about Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, perennial Pro Bowlers, Hall of Fame caliber players, I think Lyle Collins is on that Pro Bowl track, at least definitely before the injury. And that was what was so disappointing about it for him was how much time he missed and, and unable to build on what he's done at right tackle the last couple years, a former guard who moved outside and has really become a complete player in terms of pass protection and helping in the run game. He's a big body like Tyron Smith, but he, he's got great quickness for his size, and it's just huge to get him back on the edge. A lot of fans and a lot of people around the NFL thought Lyell Collins should have been a pro bowler in 2019 prior to the injury yeah. that he sustained in 2020. Hopefully he does get back to that level of play now that he is back and ready to go. As for the defensive side of the football, the Cowboys worked out a veteran safety. Who did they bring in and what does that say about the state of the safety position when we return on Inside Cowboys Training Camp? This segment was brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Final segment of Inside Cowboys Training Camp, driven by Ford. I'm alongside Rob Phillips. I'm Kyle Yeomans. And Rob, the safety spot, certainly a question mark in 2020. They're trying to rectify that a little bit here this season. But they've also brought in Malik Hooker for a workout, or at least entertain the factor. What does that say right now about the safety spot? Well, fans might say it's been a question mark since Darren Woodson retired in <laughs> 2004. They've had some good players at the safety position since then, but they're looking for permanent contributors there and I would say I wouldn't say it's a it's a spot of concern right now but they're looking for competition at that position you know Xavier Woods left in free agency I think they're 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 confident that Donovan Wilson can pick up where he left off last year emerging as a viable starter but there's some competition there DeMonte KZ they signed former Dan Quinn player in, in with Atlanta but Hooker is kind of in that free safety mold a guy that can take the ball away you know, he can force turnovers, a former first round pick with Indy who was productive before his Achilles tear, just like KZ last year. Uh, they're looking to build on what they did last year with forcing turnovers and winning that battle. If they can do that, they think they can still be a good defense. And so I think in their mind, they can't have enough guys that can do that. Outside of maybe the starting two safeties, you mentioned Donovan Wilson, Demonte KZ, is is depth an issue there? Is that one of the other reasons why they're at least entertaining outside options at the safety spot? Well, you could say depth, and you could just say looking for as many playmakers as you can. And and I don't think it hurts to bring in a Malik Hooker, just like they did with DeMonte KZ, signing him in March and saying, you're coming off an injury. Let's see where you are. And and they, were, they felt good about KZ in the spring. They did visit with Hooker back then. It, and if he's signed, then clearly they feel good about where he is physically. And again, it's another guy who can come in and try to make plays on defense and, and add to what they're building in the front seven with the defensive line and the linebacker group. A uh, hooker, uh, a former first-round pick throughout his career. But is safety the biggest concern, the biggest question mark, I think, on this roster right now? Or is there another spot that could potentially be added to? Well, I, I think it's one of the positions where you, I, I don't know if you have in pen – listed the starters there. I, th I think there's some spots up for grabs potentially at the safety position. You could say that about a couple other spots on defense. Um, those We talked about offensive line earlier. Mm -hmm. Some of those backup positions I think are up for grabs. Yeah, I think safety is a spot where there's competition to be had over the four preseason games. Stephen Jones loves saying it. Roster acquisition is a 365-day yes. job throughout yes. the entirety of an NFL year. He's Rob Phillips. I'm Kyle Yeomans. That'll do it for this edition of Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford. We'll see you next time from Oxnard. Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford was brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep. Only at a Sleep Number store. And by Ford. Built for Texas, built for you.